What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a Turing complete programming language. It's a programming language like other programming languages that you may have used. JavaScript has some distinctive features to it. It's interpreted, it's somewhat loosely typed, it admits to a variety of different styles of programming. Um, but JavaScript is an interesting language and an exciting language for a very simple reason, which is that when it was released in 1995, it was released as part of Netscape Navigator, a web browser. It was designed by someone named Brendan Eich, released in early versions of Netscape Navigator, and very quickly, JavaScript was supported by all major browsers. So major browsers will run JavaScript code inside the browser, they're interpreted, JavaScript's an interpreted pro programming language, without plugins, without external software. So this is really the key, I think, that has allowed JavaScript to push out other competing technologies like Java applets and Flash and other things. All of those technologies all that you could use to build interactive web pages all require external software. And JavaScript does not. The browser, in addition to rendering HTML, um, you know, using CSS to style the page, is also a little um, a program interpreter and it'll run pieces of code written in JavaScript. Um, so for a long time, that was the main place that JavaScript ran. Now I actually just found out recently that early on, uh, Netscape actually tried to push JavaScript as a general purpose programming language that you could use in other places. But for a long time, the place where JavaScript ran was on the web page. So if you open up this page, just the Chrome page about blank, uh, open up your development console. Uh, when you're at the console here, what you're doing is this is a JavaScript interpreter. So I can write JavaScript in here and the browser will run it for me. So for example, uh, I can initialize a, var a variable i, and I can set it to zero. And then I can uh, print the value of i, which is zero, and if I want to, I can set it to a different value, and I can print that value. Um, and so this is, you know, if you've used Python or other interpretive programming languages, this is a JavaScript interpreter. And for a long time, like I said, the main place that JavaScript was interpreted was in the browser. But then recently, maybe about you know, 10, 15 years ago, there's been this resurgence of interest in running JavaScript in other places. So what people did is they took the JavaScript interpreter that was baked into the browser and they factored it out into a standalone piece of software called Node. So today, um, if you wanna run JavaScript, you can also run it using a program called Node. So I've got, uh, I just ran Node. This is a, the Node JavaScript interpreter, and I can essentially do the same thing I did before. I can, um, it also allows me to run console.log. Um, I can print the value of i, I can set the value of i to a different uh, value and then print the new value. This is another JavaScript interpreter. So now I can run JavaScript everywhere. And it's kind of interesting to me because I think for a long time, Every, there were all these developers that were learning JavaScript because they needed to write code that ran in the browser. And at some point, I think they got frustrated. They were thinking, you know, I know so much JavaScript and it's this really cool language. Why can't I write it other places? And so when people came out with a new way of allowing you to write JavaScript and run it anywhere, there's this huge explosion of interest in this tool because now you have all these people that learned how to write JavaScript so they can write client-side code and now they can write server-side code and they can write code that runs anywhere. What's also interesting about this, of course, is for a long time, because JavaScript didn't run on the server, every JavaScript application, web application, had these two components in two different languages. So you had the part that ran in the browser that was always in JavaScript because that was basically your only choice of something that could run directly in the browser. Then you had something else that ran on the server and maybe you wrote that in Python or if it was a bad old days, you might write it in Perl CGI scripts or something terrible like, you know, like Java has frameworks for this, whatever. But I had this, so by sort of default, my project had two languages in it uh, because I couldn't run JavaScript on the server and I could only run JavaScript on the client. And now that I can run JavaScript everywhere, it's allowed uh, these JavaScript frameworks that integrate those two pieces very closely together. And it's also allowed people that know JavaScript to work on both server side and client side technologies. That's probably why JavaScript is, is today I think probably one of the most popular and active programming languages, particularly among new programmers and, and people that are building new things. Because it's, first of all, it's a fascinating and powerful language. It has a lot of really interesting and neat features to it. Um, but you can write it, you can run it in the browser. It's the only language that runs natively in the browser, but it also now runs everywhere else.